In the previous videos, we looked at molecules that have two sites around the central atom and three sites around the central atom. Here I want to look at several molecules, all that have four sites on the central atom. The simplest is the methane molecule, CH4. With its eight valence electrons, you're going to have carbon in the middle, and then bonded to four hydrogens. A little bit more complicated is the ammonia molecule. NH3. NH3 also has eight valence electrons, five from the nitrogen and one from each of the hydrogens. But when you make your three bonds to the hydrogen, that's only six. So the last two electrons are a lone pair or an unbonded pair of electrons on the nitrogen. And water also has eight valence electrons. Hydrogen is never the central atom, so I'm going to put oxygen in the middle. I make two bonds, so that's four, and the remaining four go on the oxygen. Each of these molecules has four sites on the central atom. Four bonds for the methane, three bonds and a lone pair for the ammonia, and two bonds and two lone pairs on the water. And as we draw the Lewis structures, we see nice 90 and 180 degree angles. But when we look in three-dimensional space, it's actually a little bit more complicated. Let's start with the methane molecule, CH4. As we saw from the Lewis structure, we just have four single bonds. All right, so three bonds, that's that trigonal planar shape that we just saw. Then our fourth bond, well, this is different. When we drew the Lewis structure, everything was at 90 degrees. But when you look at this shape, we can see that we're actually greater than 90 degrees which makes sense because Vesper says you're trying to maximize your spaces between sites on a central atom. And if we can get beyond 90 degrees, we're doing better than what our Lewis structure does. We can show the bond angles and we can see the internal bond angles in this shape are now 109.5 degrees. This shape is called a tetrahedral shape. The methane molecule forms a tetrahedron. And that's true as both the molecular geometry and the electron geometry. When you have four sites on the central atom, you create a tetrahedral shape. So methane, CH4, creates this tetrahedral shape. And unlike the Lewis structure that shows 90 degree angles, Vesper shows 109.5 degree angles. Now let's take a look at the next molecule, ammonia, NH3. When we go back to FET, we still have the methane molecule here. What we can do is we can remove one of the single bonds and then replace it with this lone pair, this unbonded pair of electrons. And this is what happens with ammonia. You still have four sites around the central atom. You have the three bonded sites, and then you have this unbonded pair of electrons, this lone pair of electrons. And the geometry of the electrons is still tetrahedral. If you look at the bond angles, this still shows 109.5 degree bond angles because you have four sites repelling each other, just like in methane. You can deselect, however, this option to show lone pairs. And this gives you an idea of what the molecule looks like without that lone pair. And you can see it's a different shape than what we had with methane. The electron geometry is still tetrahedral. We still have four sites on the central atom. But the shape, or the molecule geometry, is called a trigonal pyramid. We have this pyramidal shape here with a triangular base. Different than the trigonal planar, because it's not flat, it's not a two-dimensional shape. But we still have that triangular base of a pyramid. So ammonia, NH3, has this trigonal pyramid shape. Now there are four sites on the central atom, so like methane, we would expect the bond angle to be 109.5. And this is where there's a little flaw in FET. FET treats all the sites on the central atom to be truly identical. But in fact, the lone pair on the central atom is actually a little bit more repulsive than the bonds. Another way to say that is that the bonds are pushed away from the lone pair more than they are pushed away from each other. 
So when you have a lone pair on a central atom, the effect is that it actually squeezes the bonds a little bit together. The exact amount that the bonds are squeezed together varies depending on what atoms you have around a central atom, but the trigonal pyramid shape doesn't have a bond angle of exactly 109.5 degrees. The lone pair squeezes it down to a little bit less than 109.5 degrees. In ammonia, it's around 107 degrees, but the exact angle is not important. I just want you to know that it's a little bit less. All right, let's look at that last molecule. Let's look at the water molecule, H2O. So when we look at the Lewis structure for water, we see two single bonds, and the Lewis structure shows us a linear shape. But we have to realize that water has four sites on the central atom. Yes, it has the two bonds, but it also has two lone pairs. When you have four sites on the central atom, your electron geometry takes that tetrahedral shape. You have a bond angle of about 109.5 degrees. If I don't show the lone pairs, you end up with this shape here, which should be familiar to you from your biology classes. The electron geometry is tetrahedral. There are four sites on the central atom. We call this molecular shape bent. Now it's a little bit of a disappointing name, seeming that we just did linear, trigonal, planar, tetrahedral, trigonal pyramid. I think our naming committee for molecules got a little bit tired and wanted to call it a day. So they simply call this a bent molecule. Now again, FET is calling this bond angle 109.5 degrees. But as we learned from the ammonia molecule, these lone pairs have a greater repulsive force than the bonds. So the effect is that this bond angle is going to be squeezed down a little bit less than 109.5 degrees. For water, it's somewhere between 104 and 105 degrees, but that will change depending on what atoms you have on your central atom. So the water molecule, H2O, has a bent shape. It's not linear like the Lewis structure would indicate. And because it comes from a tetrahedral base with four sites on the central atom, the angle starts out at 109.5 degrees. But just like the ammonia, the lone pairs squeeze those bonds together. And all I want you to know is that the angle is a little bit less than 109.5 degrees. We don't need to know the exact angle. So I want to conclude these videos with a quick look at this diagram from the book. It breaks down all of the shapes we've talked about in these past three videos and shows you having four electron groups or four sites, three electron groups or three sites, and two electron groups, two sites. And it shows the combinations of having bonds and lone pairs and the bond angles. Notice it gives you more precise bond angles when you have a lone pair, calling the trigonal pyramid 107 and the bent shape 105. But those are for very specific molecules. All I care is that you know that they are a little bit less than their base angle.